Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading is going to be general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. It also means that the roles can be reversed. So you could be an Aquarius or you could be cross-watching for someone else who is an Aquarius. Either way, we're going to be looking at the other person's energy towards you. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you for the first couple weeks of November 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, for the situation, for this person, we have the King of Cups crossed by the Four of Cups. All right, so this is someone who does have a lot of love. All right, it's the very first card out. Um, a lot of feelings for you, deep emotions for you. But it's kind of like they're ignoring that um, with the Four of Cups. Let's see. For the recent past, we have the Death card. All right, so Scorpio. So there's been an ending, um, some kind of an ending, some kind of a transformation, but I'm seeing this as actually being an ending between the two of you, at least for the time being. In the near future, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this could be that this person is um, just gaining more confidence, becoming more assertive in terms of how it is that they feel about you. Um, because I see them almost like ignoring how they feel at the moment. Let's see their consciousness. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so it's like they're being a little bit deceptive here. They're avoiding avoiding this, avoiding um, confronting their own emotions. In their subconscious, we have the King of Swords. All right, so deep down, they know exactly how they feel. They're just trying to avoid this. All right, let's see their current energy towards you. We have the Five of Pentacles your energy we have the ace of wands and for their hopes and fears we have the empress all right Whew. they're definitely feeling alone they're feeling lonely they're feeling abandoned even if it's them who brought about this ending um they're still feeling that loneliness there's um it's like they're missing you feeling left out in the cold yeah so this is why they're just trying to avoid how, how it is that they feel because it's very, very uncomfortable to be in this position. You have the Ace of Wands. So it could be that for some of you, you would actually still want this, like that you would still want to reconnect with this person. And then I'm also getting for others of you, this could definitely be you wanting to just start fresh um, on a new page with someone else, just having a new beginning. But I mostly see it as wanting this connection. Um, the Empress for their hopes and fears. That is interesting. I'm, I'm actually getting that that is a fear of you creating something new for your own self in your life because then that would really mean that this ending is, is final. Um, that's also them, you know, secretly wishing for you. But let's actually clarify and see. So let's see this King of Cups with the Four of Cups. The Six of Cups, the Sun, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, why are they ignoring this? What happened here? I have no idea why this connection ended. Because um, it does feel like, you know, there's, there's a lot of strong emotions here like there's this potential for a lot of happiness stability long-term marriage even you know deep connecting here on a soul level like what is going on let me and this person is just like completely like ignoring this right now trying to push it out of their mind or it could even be that they just feel very disappointed with something here either in terms of something that played out in the connection or even with themselves really depends. I don't usually clarify the past energy, but let's actually clarify this death card. See if we can get any information here. Mostly for me, so it can make sense. <laughs> but let's see. Death. Why is death here? The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. 
All right, so for some of you, it could definitely be that one of you, um, I just realized you can't see these. All right, there we go. That one of you may have, you know, decided that, you know, there's something different that you want in terms of a long-term commitment. It could be that, you know, someone else came into the picture, but it just feels like somebody wanted to, or thought they wanted to start off on a new path. Um, and this brought about some kind of an ending for others of you This could definitely also be work related like it doesn't have to be that someone wanted thought they wanted a different relationship um, <clears throat> It could be related to work or just someone feeling like you know what I just don't want commitment to begin with like at all Something along those lines. All right, let's see the seven of swords for their consciousness Ooh, the Tower and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so if this person decided that they wanted to try something else, or maybe they just wanted to be single, or maybe, you know, they wanted another connection, again, it's like they're avoiding how they truly feel, and this deceptiveness to their own self and to their own heart, even if it what if, if there's not someone else involved, um, just this deceptiveness to what it is that they would want and to where they would want to give their heart, that is creating a huge crisis for them. So right now they're like going through a very um, difficult time emotionally, the more that they try to avoid their feelings. So it's like, you know, deep down, it's like this person would actually want to come forward towards you with this as this Knight of Cups, right? To offer you this love and they're not. It's like they're turning their back to that and that's just creating chaos for them. It's like a lot of emotional turmoil that's happening. Um, wow. Let's see the, the King of Swords and their subconscious. The Two of Pentacles and the Magician. Yeah, they're being very rigid here. Like they're really trying to stand strong and try to cope with this um, avoidance and with the ignoring the ignoring of the situation or, or ignoring you or ghosting you or just, you know, not um, confronting their own emotions. Like they're really like being rigid about that, like having a lot of willpower. And it's it's proving to be more difficult for them to handle that than, you know, what they what they thought. So let's move on to the five of pentacles. Yeah, because they're they're going through that tower. They're feeling this loneliness. The Page of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So there's a lot that they're learning here um, through this. I feel like this is like this whole situation and you know everything that's happening and what they're going through right now, it's helping them to see things from a different perspective. Like they did not expect to feel so alone um, and you know abandoned and empty. Basically, they I don't think they expected that they would miss you as much as they do. And yeah, so this is really helping them to put things into perspective. And it's just kind of like, you know, taking that that first step towards fully understanding, you know, what is going on here and understanding their own emotional state and that. Yeah, you know, I don't know what it is that happened here. Maybe you broke it off. Um, but either way, you know, they just didn't expect that it would affect them as much as it is. And it's really creating chaos for them. Let's see that Ace of Wands for you. The Devil and the Seven of Wands. All right. Um, Capricorn energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Or maybe you have strong Capricorn in your charts. Or maybe there's another Capricorn in your life. I don't know. Um, you're really trying to defend yourself against anything that is toxic is basically what I'm getting here. Um, I do also get that for a lot of you, there's like a very strong sexual pull towards this person or just like a lot of magneticism to the point where, you know, it can feel like, it can make you feel like, okay, this is not healthy. Like, I don't want to feel like this towards someone where, you know, things right now, they're not aligned. Like I said, I do believe that 
that there is this potential. There's this really like good potential here. I feel like, you know, I don't know what's going on with you, but this person definitely needs to address their own emotions, their own feelings, um, possibly even like resolve like this death card in the past, like what it is exactly that happened here. Um, but for you, you know, I do see you trying to block this out as well. Like you're just trying to guard yourself against anything that is toxic for you or anything that affects you in a negative way, even though you do feel like you, you're you being pulled, you know, towards this person. Um, for those of you who are, you know, just starting starting on a new path, there is, there is something here that you do need to be careful of. Um, and I feel like, you know, you will know what that is. It's not being specific. So yeah, just, just keep that in the back of your mind and, um, you know, just be sure that you are protecting yourself in whatever way, you know, you know that you should be protecting yourself. I mean, it could be something very, very like specific or something very, very like, you know, small or simple, you know, like just, you know, um, using protection. If you're, you know, um, being sexually active, for example, you know, just, it could be anything. All right. So just, um, Take it however it might apply to you. Let's see the Empress for their hopes and fears. The Page of Wands and the Five of Swords. So they have this fear that you might actually... Um, Turn your back to them or that you might, you know, either move on, move forward, like I said, like create something new or that you're looking in a completely different direction. And so, you know, even though they're trying to avoid their emotions, they still have this fear of that happening and of, you know, how, how much more negatively that is going to affect them. But it's also interesting because at the same time, they do have this hope that they can um, actually do what it takes to have you. Like, I feel like that drive is, is building. It's building in the opposite direction of what it has been, which so far it's been like this drive to like try to block out their emotions. But here it feels like it's the other way around. Like they're, they're finding this drive to move towards you, even if that means like having to um, go against what they have been thinking, you know, up until this point. Sounds like a complicated person that you are involved with here. Okay, so let's see that Queen of Wands. All right, the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, this person is definitely beginning to move towards um, towards you and also towards, you know, wanting to fulfill, you know, their heart or wanting to find that emotional fulfillment because right now they're in this five of pentacles energy. So I do see them becoming more confident, becoming more assertive, most of all in facing, you know, their own wishes and their own desires and confronting those, which is what they've been avoiding up until this this point in time. So yeah, that is it, Aquarius. Let's get a final message for you if this resonated. Now let's see. So final message for Aquarius. We have the new moon. A new start is coming. So yeah, whether it be with this person or just whether it be without this person, either way, a new start is coming for you, the viewer. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.